Hey guys, this is Sylvie from Pilates and Yoga with Sylvie. This morning's Pilates workout is about strengthening your um, the natural armor around your core. So we're going to do a bit of upper reps and work into the deep core stabilizer muscles. So let's go ahead and start. I'm hoping you're already warm and you've done well the warm up. We're going to start with a quick warm up exercise for your abdominals. So come into a lying position. Allow yourself to find a comfortable position on your back, so find position, the feet hip fits apart, arms by the side of your body, long spine, and engaging that core 30%, pelvic floor engaged. When you feel ready, let the arms reach up towards the ceiling on the in-breath, on the out-breath, bring the palms um, either side of your head, so the fingers, the temples, and the elbows wide. So let's do a few crunches to warm up the abdominals. Tuck the chin towards the chest on the in-breath. As you breathe out, lift your shoulders, take a crunch, I guess to knees, inhale, and exhale to release back and down. Let's do that again, nice and slow. So you control that crunch. You gotta feel the ribcage sliding down towards the hips. You curl it up on the in-breath so your lower back is into the floor. And you're releasing back and down on the, on the out-breath, curling the spine back into the floor. The pelvis is a gentle tucked under position. One more time. Curling. And then releasing back and down. And let your upper body stay here. Next time, nice big breath in. Breathe, big breath out. And just curl up and hold it there for me. Let your arms relax by the side of the body. And allow your uh, back leg away from me. Extend. Nice big breath in. Breathe out. Bring the leg back. And then do the other side. So while you're moving, Make sure that your chin stays tucked in and your lower abdominal is engaged. Try to keep the body as stable as possible. Good. And then slowly release the head back into the floor. Let the arms rise with you. We're going to do this again. This time if you can, hover the feet above the floor. So crunching up, let the arms find the position nice and long by the side of the body. Extend your back leg. Bring it back to center. Extend the left, the front leg, and bring it back. So flex the foot, feel the work down the back of your neck as well as your abdominals. Nice and long isometric hold. And then bring it in, release, reduce your arms and the legs away. Take a nice little stretch. So I'm gonna go straight into it, working with your hundred. So when you're ready, arms your legs by the side. You can choose to stay in this position or we work with the legs to find tabletop. So breathing in, breathing out, front leg lift up just about hip high, back leg left leg lift up hip high. So you're going to find the knee in line with your hip, the shin parallel with the floor and come to a position for your feet. So you do regular snow, you can go with straight leg, that's not a problem at all. Next time on the in breath, tuck your chin to chest and as you breathe out, cut your shoulders off the ground Bend the lower back into the floor, arms per leg with the floor. So 100 is about 100 beats of the arms. In your tempo, take five beats of uh, five beats with the arms on an in breath and five on an out breath. So you do the counting for yourself. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. So you keep going. Nine more full breath to go. And you're going to see whether you can maybe go for a little bit more. If you'd like, you can extend maybe one leg as you breathe in. And then breathe out, bring the leg back. Then the other side. Nice long movement through the arms. Keep pumping the arms down by the side of the body. If you want to work harder, both legs extend, up body lifts up a little bit more. Watch that lower back. Keep the strength in the arms, keep the chin tucked in for a safe neck. And if you find that you need to put your head down, you put your head down. If you need to just rest one leg on the floor, that's fine. So loads of loads of variety here. I think you're going towards the end of it. So I'm going to do one more. And then on the next out breath, as you finish the pump, slowly release the arms and legs away. Let the stretch happen in the body. Nice, well done. Great job. So let's do one more for the abs. 
This time we're going to find the feet again, if it's apart, arms by the side. So we are going to uh, work into the hips as well as into your upper and lower abdominals. So allow your uh, feet to come towards each other. Feet and knees come towards each other. Let the arms slide up towards the ceiling. Bring the palm of your hands together. Breathe in. And then let the arms come all the way above your head. So take a nice long stretch. Be aware that your ribcage is not open enough too fast. You're still pulling it nice and tight. Great job. So you're going to crunch up. On the crunch, we're going to let the knees, uh, the, the front knee open towards the front of the mat. So breathe in, breathe out. Crunch, keep the back leg as stable as you can and let the front knee open wide. Breathe in now, release back and down, other side. So you're simply going to move one knee at a time, bringing the sole of the feet towards each other or the front sole of the foot towards the back. That's it. When you crunch, it's a small little lift. Let's do one more single. And the next time, if you'd like to, you can try the double. So both feet open, or both knees open. As you crunch, bringing the sole of your feet together, reach the fingertips towards your heels. As you crunch, ripcage down towards the hips. Every time, when you come back to the light position, you check on the ripcage, pulling in tight, lower back connected towards the floor. Good, so you can stay here, or you can come with me for the next level. Pause here on the inhale, get ready, on the out breath, one or single leg lifting up the tabletop, one or double legs, and then find it there. So exactly the same, breathing in, breathing out and crunch, open the knees wide, this time you may reach a little higher up, reaching the knees or the hands towards the ears. Good. So open the knees wide and you may bring the knees a bit closer towards the chest. You can come back here. That's absolutely fine. Or you may choose to extend your legs away as you reach your arms above your head. That's it. So when you extend your legs, look at doing this kick in a little bit more. You can choose to go 45 degree, maybe a little lower maybe a little higher for the little less pressure for the low back so just see how you're getting on shall we do four more crunch and really feel those ribs engage reaching out how long can you make your legs can you keep your low back down good it's all about slow activation so we're working to deeper into the abdominal muscle last one and then reach away and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Great work. Let those legs come in. Give them a little hug, maybe a roll side to side. Nice long stretch if you wish. Allow your feet to come back into the ground and take a slow roll across towards facing the front of your mat. So let's come into side laying position. You're going to find your. Uh, Feet stacked one on top of the other, and the arm is nice and long. Allow the shoulders to roll back, create a long spine, engage the belly so the side of your body is nearly floating off the ground. And then find yourself that uh, length, that strength in the core. Place your head where it feels comfortable, and let's do our side by side. Now take a big beautiful breath in on the out breath, the top foot. It's going to gently turn out, so rotating from the hip, let the toes face the ceiling and then bring the foot back to center and then do that again. Toes facing up towards the ceiling and then toes facing forward, ankles stacked one on top of the other. So when you are um, turning those hip out, we're just practicing the movement that's going to happen in your hips when we move in the leg. Next time, when you turn your foot out, keep it there. And just see how your hips feeling, they see if you should face towards the front. Take a big lovely breath in. On the out breath, slide your heel up towards your kneecap, not too, uh, quite to the kneecap, if you can maybe above. And then once you find for the maximum, allow the leg to reach up towards the ceiling, nice and long and straight, and then point the foot away as you bring the feet back together. Then we're going to do this again. Flex the foot, slide the leg up. If you need to stop here, that's fine. 
And then allow the leg to extend. Make sure that the hips are still stacked one on top of the other. And then bring the feet back and down together. So let's do another four like this. Allow that hair to slide up, keeping those hips open. And then we're using the core muscles to stabilize for the rest of the body. So nice and strong, we're working through the gluteus medius. If you do find yourself really, really wobbly, it's okay to bend your bottom leg a little bit. And just watch those hips, making sure that you're not falling forwards or backwards. The shoulders are still relaxing. Two more. You may work a little bit faster if you're breathing faster, so the breath is still flowing. Good. Don't worry if the leg comes slightly in front of the body. That simply depends on the um, mobility of your hips. Good job. Well done. So once you're ready, stay here. You may give yourself a little break. You bring the foot here and just keep it. Uh, give yourself a couple of breaths before we go again. We're going to reverse the movement. So once you come back, same position, reset, breathing in, breathing out, and the foot out. But this time we're going to start with the leg extended. So see, simply lift like a sidekick on the out breath, lifting the leg. And bend the knee, point the toes toward the inner thigh or the calf. And then let the toes slide down until you find your heels towards each other. We go again, lifting, bend, and slowly slide the foot down. Allow the heels to meet. Keep breathing. Let the leg find that final maximum lift. Allow the hips to stay facing forward. And it's really wobbly, so make sure that you're focusing. Beautiful job. Try to relax your neck. Let's do two more. Keep that body in between the two panes of glasses. Long, full breath in. into the ribs. Last one. Slowly slide those feet towards each other. And allow the feet to come back. Beautiful. Well done. So let yourself come up when you're ready. And then find a position when your hands are underneath your shoulders, your knees are underneath your hips. Nice and strong engagement through the core, eye gaze in front of your fingertips, long spine. So if this position is for any reason is not comfortable for your hands, you can come down on your forearms or bring cushion in underneath the hands. We are only going to use our legs, I may come a little further forward. So once you're ready, take a nice big breath in. On the other breath, the leg that's closer to me is going to extend behind you. So just touch your toes down to foot to start. If you feel comfortable through the hands, keep the softness in the elbow. Breathing in, breathing out, let the leg lift up. Allow the leg to stay nice and strong. And the thigh bone, the hips, the shoulders facing down towards the floor and just hold. So it's a beautiful um, strength in the legs. You feel that the muscles in your thighs, in the knee, cap, uh, firming up and the uh, toes pointing down towards the floor. So next time as you inhale, let the toes point away. And as you exhale, let the foot flexed. So we're still working right for the front leg. Just point the toes, flex the foot. On the opposite side, the hip may be pushing out. So you make sure that you keep the knee in line with your hip. Two more. Remember to try and keep breathing as hard as it is. And the next time, as you come back to normal, you're gonna keep the foot flexed and we do a few circles with this leg. So you're going to bring the leg towards the middle, bring the leg a little further up, and then out to the side, back down to the floor. So you're going to do about three circles one way. And then once you're done, do the reverse the circle, so the three circles the other way. Keep the leg as straight, as strong as possible, and don't worry about uh, height. Make sure that your belly is pulling in and that your lower back is not arched. Once you're done, you're free. Allow the left to come back in, push your hips back nice and strong, breathing in and breathing out. Let's do the other side. So we got to pick up the back leg. Let the toes touch down the first round. When you're ready, lift. Let the toes face down. Everything's nice and square, muscles working strongly in the leg, abdominals engaged. Point the toes away. 
flex the foot. So as you point your toes away, feel the muscles in the legs firming up even more. As you flex the foot and the toes point down, you feel the back of the legs engage more. Two more like this. Check on that front hip, making sure that the front knee is aligned with the hip. And then as you come back to center next time, you got the circles coming up. So circular movement, moving the thigh bone and the hip. In towards the body, a little further up, out, back to center. So as you're moving through the back leg, the whole of the body stays really, really still. You only got three circles all the way around. Keep the breath flowing. Nice strong movement. And then you come back to center. Allow the leg to touch down. Push your heads back. And let's take a quick release through the um, wrist. So let the elbows come into the ground, pick up the hands and give you the wrist a couple of rows and then the other way around. So once you have that, we're going to have one more round. And but if you do find that this is too tricky for your hand, it's okay to come down in your forearms this time. This time we are going to go straight into the circles and we're going to circle with our legs, foot pointing. So back into the same position, feeling nice and strong. Breathing in, breathing out, front leg extends, point your toes away. Three little circles. So you're going to bring in and out away from the center. Three circles. And then back the other way around. Don't worry about matching the circles with your breath here. One more round to go. Try to make the circle maybe a little bit bigger. Watch those muscles in your back, in the core. Three two, one, and hold it here. Breathe in, breathe out, to bring the knee to the chest to run through the back of the body, and then extend the leg away. Do it again. Bring in the knee to chest, extending the leg away, and then one more time, knee comes to chest, pull it in, run the back, extend the leg away, hold, let the back arm, opposite arm, Reach out in front of you and hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Well done. Let the hips push back. Stretch right through the fingertips. You may pick up that uh, hand that was on the floor, so the front hand, and then, then gently press the back of the hands into the floor without putting too much body weight into it. So bringing a bit of a counteraction into the restraint. And I'll repeat this on the other side, so when you feel ready, come back. Hands underneath your shoulders, shoulders relax, engage in, re-engage in that core. And this time we're going to lift the back leg. So if you remember, straight into that position, not too high, just about line with your hips, pointing the toes away, keep everything else nice and engaged, hips level. So a couple of rounds, three circles each, when you're ready. You can start in towards the body. Nice and strong. Point the toes away. Once you're done free, the other way around. Can you feel the stretch through the front of the hip? Just feel the muscles working in the whole of the leg. Into the glutes, into the lower back. One more time. Remember not to let your back arch. Take a break if you need to. Once you're there, hold it there. Nice and strong. Keep breathing. And then breathing out. Curl in. Round the back, release the core. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, curl. I guess to knees, back a little care. One more time like this. Push the leg away, curl in. And then the final challenge is to let this leg extend. Opposite arm reach and hold. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. Push everything back. Take that nice long reach with the arms. Great work. So once you feel ready, find your other way. Other side. Side per se. Arm is long. Turn the palm for the right rotation in the shoulder. And allow your feet to be stacked one on top of the other. Remember, slight bend the bottom knee if you feel that you need to. Let the shoulders open up, pull the belly in towards the spine, 
and then let's start breathe in let the top foot turn out towards the ceiling so the toes pointing towards the ceiling and then come back and do that again turn the top foot out so the five will rotate it in the hip but the hips stay facing forward two more like this let's try to get the right rotation in that hip or the five one in the hip and you may find that your toes only facing 45 degree like mine a bit of lack of flexibility mobility in the hips that's okay next time as you turn the foot out hold it there take an in breath and as you breathe out let the heel slide towards the calf maybe the thigh keep the knee width open as you can and then once you're there extend the leg and then let the foot come down let's do that again heel sliding up to in the middle middle um, thigh so middle uh, inner thigh and then slowly release so just decide how high you can go without falling back or forwards and then as you lower the leg back and down slowly control the way down feel that stretch that work into the obliques into the side of the body as well as working into the hips and glutes all right two more to go are you still bracing through the abdominals? Are you relaxing through your shoulders? And most importantly, are you still breathing? Good. Hold it here. So you may decide to take a little break. Let the foot recover. Come in, take, bring it here. Or just simply put it down in front of you and take a stretch. And then going to do the other side. So you allow your uh, feet to come towards each other again. Let the toe foot open, hips facing forward, this time lift to the straight leg. Allow the leg to lift up and then point the toes down towards the thigh, slide the toes down until you find your heel meet again. Let's go again, flex and foot lifted, pointing as you slowly relax back. Good, four more to go like this. The tricky part is as you slide the toes down because your body wants to wobble so that's why we try and use our stabilizing muscles to keep the body in the same place nice work so you got two more to go do not forget to breathe take your time you don't have to rush and just one more so let those hips stay facing forward Find the maximum lift in the leg, keep the knee open, and then once you're there, feet come together, breathing in, and breathing out. Take a slow roll the right with your belly, so allow your forehead to touch the ground, and let the arms relax either side of your mat, the arms in a 90 degree uh, angle, palms facing down, forehead relaxes down when you're ready. Feet about hip feet apart and uh, let the hip bones push equally evenly into the floor so let's take a breath for two here and let's uh, work into our back on the next inhale find your back leg take a nice big breath in and on the out breath let the leg lift up off the ground lengthening from the hip bone and then relax the leg back and down let's change side as you start to work through the legs, your upper body is nice and still. Allow the breath to guide you here. One more like this. And the next time, bring your attention to your arms. Take a nice big breath in. On the out breath, let the legs slide a little further forward so the arms are longer. Inhale. Exhale to lift the front arm. Put your upper body to so the shoulders, the eye gets lifting, eye stays on the floor. Relax back and down, breathing in, breathing out, opposite side. So your option is going to be to stay and work with the legs and arms straight. Otherwise we are going to change slightly this combination, working with the arms and legs together and bringing a bit of flexion into them. Good, so relax your body down, hold it here. On the next in-breath, 
Prepare on the add breath. Front arm, back leg. Lift like a swimming. Now allow yourself to be nice and still here. Let the front arm pull back so it, it's in a 90 degree angle. And you maybe bend your back leg, pressing the thigh bone towards the ceiling. Then you extend everything back to center and relax the whole of the body down. Other side. Breathe in, breathe out and lift. Breathe in, bend the leg here towards the ceiling, pull the elbow back, maybe lift a little higher, keep the eyes on the floor. Then extend everything and release back and down. Two more like this. Lift from the center. So as you lift, think about pushing only the seat hip bones into the floor. When you bend the leg, keep the knee towards the midline of the body. The foot is flexed so you can engage more through the back of the body, to the glutes and hamstrings. And you may move a little faster than me. Think about long extension. You feel the stretch right through the front of the body and the strength work through the back. Lift up a little higher if you can. Good. One more nice and slow here. Lift in. Pull back. Press the heel towards the ceiling. Extend again and release down. Great. Take a nice breath in. And we're going to move, move a little bit faster this time. So let the elbows bend again. Forehead down. So we're going to move straight away. Lift in with the front arm and the back leg. And the leg is going to come into a bent position. So let the back leg bend, breathe in, breathe out, front arm, back leg. Lift up, bring it down, bend the front knee, lift up, and bring it down. Change sides. So every time you come back, you put the foot back into the floor, and you lift the opposite arm and leg. Good. One more time like this. Let the spine move in a straight line. Engage the belly. Last one. Beautiful. Let's go back to the first side. Just lift and hold. Lift and hold. Front arm extends. Back leg extends. Push out. Bend and put the elbow back in. Extend the leg. Bend and pull the elbow back in. Feel the shoulder blade coming towards the spine. Two more. How much more can you feel that back working? Flex the legs away. Push the foot away. And then as you come nice and long, or uh, bend in the next time, release back and down. Nice job. Take a breath if you need it. We do this on the other side. You've got four to five reps. Breathe in, breathe out, bend the left front knee, lift up back arm front knee, and all you have to do, extend, and pull the elbow back. Point the toes down, pull the elbows back. When you extend your arm, turn the palm towards the floor, and keep the body nice and still. Think about long extension, like someone would pull your arm and your leg away. Let's do one more. Try to keep the flat bone off the ground. And then next time, as you pull back into center, hold it there and slowly release down. Oh, wow, that was hard. Nice, so relax by bringing the hands underneath your forehead. All that needs to come a little wider. Pick up the legs and take a little windscreen wipe through the legs. So let the legs move side to side. Lower back gets a little release. Find your way back to center. Allow your hands to come underneath your shoulders on the in-breath. On the out-breath, push yourself up, open any position. We're going to finish with releasing of your spine. So coming into a little cat stretch. Breathing in to relax the belly. Breathing out, pull the belly in. Round through the back of the body and draw the eye gaze towards the knees. And do that again. Breathing in, relaxing the belly. Lifting the eye gaze, breathing out, pulling everything back to center. Good job. One more time like this. When you round the back, separate the shoulder blades away from each other. Push into the lower back, bring the eye gaze towards the knees. 
and then let your hips push back taking a nice long stretch let's just take a few hinge so from here keep the back round curve forward and push back two more like this curve forward lower away in the hands push back and the heels drive towards the bottom or to all the, the hips towards the heels and one more time pushing back this time you're gonna hold it here relax the forehead down relax your arms by the side just take two breaths within here and let's finish off with a nice little release of your shoulders so when you feel ready Place your hands underneath your shoulders, lifting up. Hands come uh, into a full panini position. Breathe in, breathe out. Your back arm away from me is going to lift up and open into a spinal extension. On, and then the, uh, as you reach underneath, you're going to find the back arm reaching underneath the front arm. If you can, place the side of the head into the floor. And then keep those hips nice and high, stretching through the shoulder if you definitely need it today. Let the palm face towards the ceiling, allow the shoulder to relax. You may extend this hand, that's free. Two more breaths in here. So we need to stretch the shoulders out after the work we've done for Brunilin. Great job, bring the hand in next to your head, push yourself up and other side. So reaching the arms up, on the in-breath open the chest and then finding that uh, reach underneath build the shoulders into the floor and the top arm may extend keeping those hips high let the chest stay open and feel the work in the back the hips the inner thighs come towards each other take one more big nourishing breath in and as you breathe out hands underneath your shoulders lift yourself up and out of this and come and face me uh, in a seated position so we take a little release for your neck, for your wrists. When you feel ready, allow your hands to come towards each other. And we're going to take a little roll for the wrists. You're going to find the thumbs coming towards each other. Um, for the thumbs come towards each other, the back of the hands. And then you're going to find a little, uh, the fingers and the palm, the thumb, the back of the hands, the little fingers and the thumb. So the that's the way to draw a lovely little circle through your wrist. Allow your uh, your wrist to get a nice uh, nourishing uh, uh, joint action, and then the other way around. So simply reverse the way. Think about bringing the edge of your hands towards each other. Let the breath flow. Good. Two more like this. And the next time, as you find your hands um, together, take an interlacing of the fingers. Let the hands press towards the ceiling, nice long stretch. And then take a stretch across towards your right side. Let the fingers push away. Breathe in, breathe out, let the hand land. Take a further reach. And then find your way back, bring the fingers together again, press up. Take it to the other side, stretch long and straight. And then you may let go and stretch further through the side of the body. Bend that elbow as far as you need to. Allow your arm to come back into the center. Relax your shoulders, relax your hands where they feel comfortable. And let's just focus on the neck. So next time, tuck your chin towards your chest, breathing in. Breathing out, lifting your eye gaze back to me. Do that again. Tuck your chin, feel the uh, stretch through the back of your neck. And then we lift your eye gaze towards me. Next time, tuck your chin, relax, I guess, towards the belly, and then slowly roll your head across, so the right shoulder, ear comes towards the right shoulder, and then rolling across, bring the left ear towards the left shoulder. So we're going from shoulder to shoulder, feeling that release with the side of the, body, the neck, into the back of the neck, giving us a little stretch, a little release. Good. Let's do just one more like this. And the next time as you bring your right ear to your right shoulder, hold and pose it there, slowly bring it back to center, and then let the left ear come to the left shoulder. And bring it back to center, one more time. Ear to shoulder. 
long stretch here and then the other side great job find your way back nice work okay so you go finishing with your last stretch extend your legs out in front of you give them a nice little stretch here's uh, facing me with the toes um, up towards the ceiling take a lovely long stretch on the in breath and on the out breath tip forward from the hips allow the whole of your body to slightly lay over your legs and you're gonna let the hands relax wherever they feel comfortable so that can be the back of the thigh of your legs or maybe at the back of the feet just gonna turn sideways so this is your last stretch of the day feel the release that's coming into your back into the back of the legs remember not to force it so if you need to stay up a little higher that's all good as long as you can relax your head your shoulders two more breath in here feel the breath coming in and feel the breath releasing in through the nose out through the mouth one more nice big breath in and on the out breath slowly mindfully roll yourself up let your shoulders come back and down and then find the um, seated position facing me so that was your class for you today thank you so much for joining me hopefully you um, enjoyed it and managed to get through all the exercises um, if you've got questions comments um, any feedback um, or requests what you'd like for the next videos please do let me know again thanks for watching and if you haven't done it yet don't forget to subscribe take care guys bye bye